Almost 24 years to the day since 14 year old Regina Krieger disappeared from her home in Burley. Her body later found on the banks of the Snake River. Now in the years since, the case has gone cold and no arrests were ever made until today. A huge break in the case. KTVB's Misty Inglet spoke with Regina's mother just tonight about this case and Misty joins us now with more. Well, Mark and Kim, as you can imagine, Regina's mom is thrilled. She says she got a call from the Cache County Sheriff's Office earlier today, letting her know that they had made an arrest. She says that call is something she's been praying to get for more than two decades. The year was 1995. 14 year old Regina Krieger, just a few days away from celebrating her 15th birthday, disappeared. It's very vivid in my mind and it'll always be there that day that I got a phone call from my son, 1995, February 27th, about his sister being gone. My um, ex-husband woke up, check on her to get ready for school, and she was gone and all there was was a bloody trail leading up the stairs from the basement. Fast forward two months to April 1995, a body surfaced in the Snake River. It was so badly decomposed, police couldn't even identify its gender. Dental records would soon confirm it was Regina. Forever, I'll have a hole in my heart that will always be there. Police would rule her death a homicide after an autopsy showed Regina's throat had been cut and she had been stabbed in the chest. But the case went cold until December 2017 when... An FBI agent contacted me and he wanted to help out on the case. Eventually, a case was built and Gilberto Flores Rodriguez was arrested for first degree murder. Rodriguez had been named as a suspect early on, but was never charged until now. As Regina's mom, I've been waiting for this day for 24 years. And how I feel right now is just so enlightening and I'm so excited and so thrilled for having to chase this case um, as many years as I have. It's, it's a whole new story for me now. I don't have to go back anymore. Today is a great day. And I think I can move on is what I can do. Now I looked into Rodriguez's background and he has a pretty lengthy criminal history, including things like DUIs and several drug charges. Regina's mom Rhonda says that her daughter was involved with drugs at the time and that could be her connection to Rodriguez, but she doesn't know for sure. She says that's just one of many details that she hopes will come out in court as Rodriguez starts to go through the justice system. Kim and this still you. will need to work its way through the courts, but closure for the family indeed. All right. Thank you, Misty.